Hey, what's going on? Where have you been? I've been waiting around here for you for two months and you haven't shown up. All right, it's not you, it's me. It's my fault, I haven't been here for two months. And I don't know why this is starting to sound like a breakup because we're not breaking up. But you know what, I'm here today and I'm really excited that you're here to watch this video. <laughs> All right guys, what's going on? I, I know it's been a while, it's been about two months uh, since I've put out a video and I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys asking me when there's another video coming out. So here it is today. A couple of things that I wanna say is thank you to all the supporters of this channel, um, all the comments, the likes, the, uh, the support on the good videos, the bad videos, the ugly ones, the good ones. I might have mentioned the good ones, but I just really appreciate everyone's support. Um, we are over the 10,000 sub mark, which is super exciting for me because I did not think that this was gonna happen when I first started this channel and it kind of just, you know, organically happened. So I'm super excited about that. All right, so anyways, big thank you. Really appreciate the support and hopefully the next stop is gonna be 100K. So what I wanna talk about today is socializing your puppy before they get all their shots, which is usually about 12 weeks. Because most of you guys are getting your, your puppies between eight and 10, eight and 12 weeks. And that is gonna be the most critical time for socializing um, your puppy and getting them ready for the real world and learning how to, you know, basically behave in the real world. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to go see my buddy, Evan. I just got off the phone with him this morning. He got a little bit of a leg injury from working out. He tore something in his leg. I, I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention, but Anyways, I know what that's like because if you've been following me on my Instagram, in my stories, I've been struggling with a leg injury myself. So I know exactly what he's going through and we're just gonna go check up on him, see if he needs anything. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna get right into this video. What's going on with your leg? It's, it's buggered out, man. Yeah? yeah? Which one is it? This one. Oh, man. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many reasons why you want to socialize your puppy from a young age. The best age, like I said before, is between 8 and 12 weeks because it's the most critical time to socialize uh, a puppy. You want to make sure that they're being exposed to the world and they're learning how to interact with the world. You know, embracing everything around them, people, other animals, um, moving cars, buses, all these kinds of things, you're gonna, risk, you're gonna minimize them being reactive to that. So you really wanna just get them to be used to having those kinds of things around them. So it's just like having a kid, you wanna introduce them to the world, get them very comfortable being around other people, other kids and animals, because you don't want them to feel abnormal. So it is very important to also expose your um, dogs to the real world in the same type of manner. So one of the things that I like to do, or what I actually did with uh, Fuli, is um, not only did I just take him around other people and kids, but I also got him very used to our vet. So we would take like pointless trips there, just to take him in there and get him comfortable, um, just being in that environment. So it created a positive experience for him. So if we ever had to go to the vet 
it wasn't going to feel abnormal to him and it's not going to be a scary place. So that's one of the things that um, I would suggest to anyone that is bringing home a new puppy is that take him to the vet maybe like once a week or like once every couple of weeks just so your dog does get very comfortable in that uh, setting. So when you do have to take him for anything, it's not going to be a scary place for them. Go say hi to Thor. Go. Go you. Go you banana. Go. Your puppy at eight weeks, um, your dog hasn't been fully vaccinated yet. So that doesn't mean that you can't socialize your dog um, with other animals. Um, what I would suggest is that if you know someone or have an adult dog that is up to date on their vaccines, you could still socialize that puppy with that dog. It's a lot safer for them than if you were to go to a dog park where you don't know if all the dogs are, you know, the, the dogs that are attending those dog parks are up to date on their vaccines. So it's a lot less risky for them to catch anything. Um, and once they've, you know, had their full dose of uh, vaccines, then you could start exposing them to other um, animals. What if you have a cat? Okay, so if you have a cat that is fully vaccinated um, and it's an adult, then it is totally safe for you to bring that puppy home and socialize your puppy with your cat. However, I would not take your puppy or any puppy that's not fully vaccinated and start introducing them to a whole bunch of different um, dogs or other animals that you're not familiar with. To sum that up, you could still socialize your puppy with other dogs that are older and that are fully vaccinated. And in fact, it's actually better to socialize your dog with an older adult dog because that adult dog is gonna teach more life skills to your puppy. It's gonna teach your puppy how to be a puppy and how to be a dog if that makes any sense. Go get him! The cat just sits at the top of his head waiting. Socializing your dog doesn't just mean introducing them to different animals, other dogs, people, and kids. It goes beyond that. It's actually exposing them uh, to the world. So what I like to do, or what I used to do, and I still do, is on occasion I'll take fully actually not even on occasion we go on regular car rides so you could always introduce your dog to getting comfortable with going on car rides if you're going to be you know going up to the cottage or going camping or anything like that you want to get them accustomed to that feeling of being inside of a car or if you're going to be putting them in a crate inside the car, you wanna get them used to that. So socializing your puppy goes much more further than um, interacting, having them interact with you know other animals and people. So here's a great tip. You should really sit down and assess what your life is like right now and how you want your puppy to be a part of your life. So put a list together of all the places that you like to go and where you would like your puppy to go and start exposing your puppy to those settings so it gets comfortable in those environments. Dude, it's freaking cold. I'm gonna put on a sweater for this. If I could even manage to put on my sweater. Ugh. So when I got Fooey, I wanted him to be very social with people, especially with kids. I didn't want him to be scared of kids. I didn't want kids to be scared of him. So I made it a point that I would always take him around, you know, playgrounds, um, let him, in, let him, you know, get used to being around other kids, my nieces and stuff like that. Um, also, for those of you who do have kids, introduce your puppy to kids and teach them boundaries of what they are and are not allowed to do. This is a great opportunity for also to teach your kids on boundaries of how to interact with that puppy and how to uh, play with them. One thing that I would caution you guys is if you guys do have toddlers or kids around is to teach them not to get too close to their face because 
when they're puppies, they don't know right from wrong. Um, around 12 weeks, they start teething. So the last thing that you would want is an accident with the puppy jumping up and nipping at their face. So my last tip for today is that um, socializing your dog um, to the world and other people and everything else that I covered, it doesn't stop at their puppy stage. This is something that you're gonna wanna do on a regular, throughout the whole dog's life. Um, you know, I have Philly over here. I'm constantly taking him out, introducing him to new people, uh, bringing him around a part of my life. We go everywhere together. So it's just something that you really want to, you know, keep up with and keep doing and just staying on top of it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you did, Philly would really appreciate it if you hit that like button and that you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one.